let's dive into the physics. According to Einstein's general relativity, time travel backwards requires something called a closed time-like curve. Essentially, a path through space-time that loops back on itself. Recent research from the University of Queensland suggests that such loops might be possible, but they come with strict rules. Physicists Germain Tobar and Fabio Costa proved mathematically that time travel can be locally free, meaning you can make small changes while still being globally consistent. But here's the catch. Creating even a one-second time loop would require enormous amounts of energy. We're talking about warping space-time itself. To bend time by just one second, you'd need the energy equivalent of several nuclear bombs concentrated into a space smaller than an atom. And that's assuming you could even survive the journey. <sighs> the gravitational forces required to create such a distortion would likely tear apart every atom in your body long before you could press that time machine button. But let's say you somehow survive and successfully travel back one second. Now you face what physicists call the information paradox. Think about it. When you travel back, you bring with you the memory of what happened in the next second. You know exactly what's about to occur. But this creates information that seemingly comes from nowhere. What philosophers call a bootstrap paradox. Recent quantum experiments have shown something fascinating. In 2019, Russian physicists actually succeeded in reversing time for a quantum particle, making an electron's state evolve backwards for a fraction of a second. But the probability of this happening naturally, one in 10 billion trillion trillion. The researchers calculated that even if you observed 10 billion electrons every second for the entire lifetime of the universe, 13.7 billion years, you'd only see this time reversal happen once. And even then, the particle would only travel back one ten billionth of a second. This suggests that our universe has built-in protection against time travel paradoxes, what Stephen Hawking called the chronology protection conjecture. 